So this is a small container that I got from the dollar store. As you can see, it's reasonably priced. And it's also BPA free and it's number five plastic. The drainage tray is also number five plastic, which is food safe. And you can use this underneath the small container for drainage. To prepare your containers, you're going to need to use a soldering iron or a drill. You could use a drill, but there's a risk of cracking the plastic. So my recommendation is use the soldering iron if you have one and make about a dozen holes in each of the containers that you use. Just on the base because there's adequate ventilation on the sides. If you do use a soldering iron to create holes in the base of your small container, please do so in a well ventilated area. So I'm about to start the same mixture up again as we did with the five gallon pails and this time I'm using five liter pails. And I have the same components as before, uh, the thawed out vegetable scraps, the shredded cardboard and used coffee grains along with water. This is a smaller mortar tray and last time we used the large mortar tray. So the containers have been dumped out. Here are the coffee grains, the thawed out food scraps, the cardboard, the dechlorinated water. And then there are optional ingredients you could experiment with. A little bit of bone meal, worm castings, and also starter from your last batch. So this will be compost from your previous container mix. So save a few cups as a starter as an inoculant. I held off adding the water because the mixture was quite wet. It felt quite damp. So what you need to do is do the two dot drop squeeze test and see if there's any moisture coming out. So this feels like it's ready to roll and I'll be adding it to the bins here next. So let's um, do one more squeeze over here and you can see a few drops coming out. So this looks like it's ready to go. And I did not have to add water to this batch because the thawed out food scraps were very moist. Add some older compost from previous mixes. Wood ash is alkaline and will help balance any acidity in the mixture if there is any. And it's an optional add. So this is what the container setup looks like. You can see all the ventilation holes and you can put the jumbo elastic around to secure them. Here's the drainage tray at the base. And the jumbo elastic is a little bit tricky to put on. So the easiest thing is to start wrapping around the base and then pull it over the top. So now it'll be secure. And you can check your temperature daily. Just remove the elastic from the top, check your temperature and record it. And it'll take about two weeks for it to be ready. Your final step is to cover the containers with burlap. You could also use another type of uh, breathable fabric that has a loose weave. But this works out great due to all the ventilation holes. So I wish you all the best with this project. You can also record the room temperature and humidity, but it's not a requirement. Thanks for watching our video. Please give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe or leave a comment below. We really appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great day. Once the temperature starts to level off, take the contents of the small container and dump it into a mortar tray or other large container and add your ingredients to boost the temperature. Add a mixture of worm castings, Use coffee grains and a cup of water. After the temperature boost ingredients have been added, uh, mix well. And then return the contents to the small container. So after the temperature boost, take your compost that you've been mixing up and put it back into the bin. And then put your um, steak in four corners around the middle and make your holes. Just twist them and make your aeration holes. So something interesting really happened. I let my small compost container sit for about another week and there's all little tiny little mushrooms growing. 
inside the ventilation holes. So I just wanted you to see this. I thought it was pretty cool. So anyhow, here you go. I'd like you to see how dark this pre-compost is. It is really, really dark. So I just thought you might be interested in seeing it. And I'm going to feed it to the worms. This is the pre-compost after three weeks, and I'd like you to see it so you get an idea of what it looks like. 